Good morning, everybody, broadcasting live from Mazatlan, Mexico. I'm Bill the Geek, and this is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel. It's a lovely day down here in Mexico as we share with you the joys of living in Mexico. And I appreciate everybody for showing up this morning. Uh, we got that girl, my neighbor in the house, of course, Dr. John Crapo Crapto with 32 degrees in New Jersey. Uh, Dan Mack in my hometown, Columbus, Ohio. Kim J is in the house. Good morning, everyone. She says she thinks so. She speaks is in the house. We got a bunch of people in the house this morning. We have a bunch of content this morning. A lot is going on. Thanks for clicking that like button. Uh, Brian, Brian Maiden is in the house. Woohoo! Oh, no. Oh, no. Look who has shown up in the house this morning. None other than Granny is in the house. Woohoo! Granny is so, we're so happy because we, we talk about you every week. Hey, has anybody talked to Granny? <laughs> <laughs> we're so, we're so we're so happy that you are kicking senior mexico is in the house in baltimore where it's cold and sunny uh good morning ken from nashville we have a lot going on today uh I, and i and uh thanks again for you guys for showing up this morning miriam miriam that's my other neighbor down the street I'm I, I'm doing good, Miriam. I know you, that you're getting around. Uh oh, oh, la for la forest, the ahi heek in the house, and even even uh Ken Hannah Keith Keith Hannah is in the house. We have a lot going on today. Sue, so, oh Sue. Sue, I don't remember Sue. Sue, I don't remember you ever showing up before. You're a neighbor of Dan Mack in my hometown, Columbus, Ohio. Happy to see you here. Autumn Green is in the house. Thank you guys for showing up. We have some clips to share with you. Um, I'm going to share some clips uh, this morning from Durango. I was there last week. I've got some nice click. I have some nice clips. It'll give you an idea of what Durango is like just walking around. It's a wonderful environment. Uh, I, I think Durango is a real sleeper town. People just haven't heard about it. Um, I'm putting up a video tomorrow morning, and I am comparing apartment prices in Mexico to apartment prices in Mazatlan. Uh uh, what, how much does a one bedroom cost? How much does a studio cost? How, what about a three bedroom in a luxury uh, apartment complex? How much does that cost? It's a short video. I get right down to the facts. I do it in seven minutes. I will be posting that tomorrow. And I always do a Sunday and a Tuesday video. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do on for the Tuesday video. But let's see what else is going on. We have we have a bunch of people in the house this morning. It is early, and as I caught and and uh, I didn't pay him to say this, but uh, click the like button. Says NVHT, and he's he's he hit it right on the head. Click the like button. Woohoo! <laughs> and as I said. A few weeks ago, I got to make some adjustments here, and I am so happy that my equipment is running today. But I, uh, 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 I'm, I'm going to start out the broadcast with like a uh, just real quick, a little bit of Mexico history, just a little bit. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to kill you with history. But, you know, they talk about narcos. You think of Mexico. What do you think of narcos? Don't go there. I was talking to a Canadian on the roof. I was uh, shooting yesterday. I'm on the roof uh, shooting my video that's going to come out tomorrow morning. 
and uh and they they put out these travel alerts about the oh well oh, the Mexico's not safe and all that kind of stuff and uh so when you think of Italy what do you think of leaning tower of pizza or maybe you just think of pizza or when you think of France what do you think of the Eiffel Tower well I just uh, in some of these broadcasts, I just I just want to give you guys something to think about Mexico other than narcos. And what we're going to do is we are going to start out with the Olmecs. The Olmecs were in Mexico, one of the original civilizations in Mexico uh, from 1400 B.C. to 400 A.D., depending up on depending on who you talk to, the Olmecs, and that, that's going back many, many years. Uh, Mexico has a, a, a vast history, and this is one of their famous, that's one of their famous stone heads. They have 17 of those around Mexico. Some of them have been mu- moved to museums, Some of these things were 40 tons in weight and nine feet tall. Uh, They they developed a vast uh, calendar system, uh, a writing system, agricultural prices with irrigation. And again, that is the Olmex, the Olmex. So when you think of Mexico, don't think of narcos. Don't think of narcos. Don't think of drugs. Think of the old Mex going back to 1400 BC. And that is the end. That is the end of my little history segment for the day. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going any further because I know people have things to do. People are busy. Who is this? Oh, oh. Brian Maiden, I enjoyed the video on your trip to Durango and the tunnels. Thank you very much. I was that video got no hits. <laughs> I oh, I put up a a video this week with uh, Meredith Ann Murray and I he, he that got like a like four hundred visits, and then I put up another video. Oh, I put up the tunnels last week. And, uh, you know, I, that, that got like, I, I don't know. I'm just bailing over here, but, but anyway, thank you very much, Miriam. We love your videos. Thanks for all your information. I click the like button as soon as I come to your show. Thank you so much, Miriam and Derek. I look forward to this show show all week from Canada. I tell you what. Uh, you got some Canadians. If you ever get lonely, if you ever get lonely and you're a Canadian, come to Mazatlan because they're all here. They are all here. Uh, will you be doing a small video on Carnival? Uh, before I respond to that, let me go down here to Katrina the Maker, and I do want to say hello to you. I don't think... Carnival is this week. It started yesterday. And what? They have like a million people that show up from all over the world to to visit Carnival. They have live entertainment. Gloria Gaynor, she may have been last night. Uh, uh, But for me to get down there, it's like a 10-minute taxi ride and a million people. Um, I I don't think I'm going to make it this year. I mean, what? Uh, Oh, and and then they have a parade. They have a parade. They have a parade Sunday. And then they have another parade Tuesday. They have a boat parade. Then they have fireworks. And I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm not. and, And I tell you guys every week, I'm really not all that social. So, uh, I, but maybe next year. Oh, interest. Oh, no, no, I don't believe this. Look who is in the house. Kelsey is in the house from Guadalajara. She just communicated, or she sent me an email yesterday. Bill, I'm going to Guadalajara tomorrow. Where should I go? Oh, so happy to have you in the house, Kelsey. And I hope you really enjoy 
Uh, she just signed. She just signed up for a uh, lease for an apartment here in Mazatlan. She's going to visit Guadalajara and check that out. And then she's going back to Phoenix and picking up her two sons and moving to Mazatlan. I tell you what, Mexico is fabulous. And people who have never heard of Mazatlan, if you visit Mazatlan, you fall in love with Mazatlan. So many people, and Kelsey has visited Puerto Vallarta. Many, and, and, and I ran, it, it, I mean, I'm so lucky that uh, I get to communicate with so many people. Some a uh, 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 a couple uh, in uh, uh, I don't know where they live, but they lived in Mexico City for two years, and they had never heard of Ahihik. <laughs> but you know, but they they were so happy, and they visited Ahihik. They think they're going to move there, but uh, oh wow! But Anyway, no, I'm not going to Carnival. I don't think. I don't really want to. I'm charging up my drone right now. I'm going to go do some drone flying here. Oh, I would leave. I, I would love to see those uh, Olmec heads. Yes, yes, and uh, there's a real history to them. Uh, there's so much really ancient history down here in Mexico. Also. Olmex built pyramids, but they didn't build like the real fancy ones like the Mayans and the Aztecs did. Uh, their, their pyramids are almost like mounds the, the way they show up. But anyway, let's see what else is happening here. What's going on down here? Yes. Okay, so let's get right to some... Uh, Let's get right to some Durango clips right off the bat. Uh, now, for those of you uh, that have no clue where Durango is, and I've got this clip here. I got to show this. Granny, I've been showing this. You can see Granny. Granny looks chilly. And I bet those uh, two ladies in the front there with jackets on, I, I wonder if they're Canadians. And when you see Canadians down here wearing jackets, it must be chilly. And it's a little chilly here. It, uh, this morning was like 50 degrees, which is kind of surprising. We're in Mazatlan. But the, the, there are, I'm looking out of my back window. There are no clouds in the sky. There's a little teeny tiny cloud. But uh, it, the, the weather is fabulous. So just a little refresher. Uh, you can see Durango there in the center with that little red dot and the drive from Mazatlan to Durango on the bus took about five hours. And uh, I put a video up this week and I stayed at this place and right downtown, right in El Centro of Durango. It's called La Roma. The La Roma Hotel. Now, uh, it, 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 if you go to visit Durango, you want to go uh, anytime but December and January because it gets it gets very chilly there. And uh, I could I could see living in Durango. I could probably have a place to stay as nice as where I'm I'm staying now. Right now, I'm paying. Right around six fifty, seven hundred dollars a month. That's two bedrooms, two bathrooms, swimming pool, great deck on top of the building. Uh, I can walk everywhere. But I bet in Durango, I could get this place probably for about three hundred dollars a month. Uh, of course, they don't have ocean in Durango, but I, I think I could live with that. But uh, let's let's go to my first clip here of Durango. Oh, oh, this is a drone shot. Uh, Dan Mack will know what I'm talking about when I say these streets are kind of like the streets in Columbus, Ohio in German Village. 
and uh, the, 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 there's a drone shot with a drone sitting on the ground. But uh, th this street goes for blocks and blocks and blocks. It has so much personality, so many wonderful, wonderful restaurants. Uh, and, and here's another shot. This is, there is the uh, Durango Cathedral. Uh, 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 next week I'll show you inside the cathedral and, and you can see, uh, in El Centro in Durango, it's filled with, with, it's, it's, it, it's really hard to explain. It's a beautiful place. The thing is the elevation is very high. I think the elevation is around 11,000 feet. And some people have contacted me about living in Chapala or living in Ahihik. And uh, I think the elevation there is somewhere around four to 5,000 feet. And some people will have a problem breathing at that altitude. So, But if you want to save money and make your dollar really go a long, long way, visit Durango. I could live in Durango. The thing is... Uh, there aren't hardly any expats that I know of in Durango. And of course, uh, Durango has a very large plaza. Uh, it, it's, it's almost a plaza like, uh, in Guadalajara actually, and they have adjoining plazas and I'm out there. This is around 11 o'clock in the morning. There's a Burger King on the plaza. There's a McDonald's on the plaza. There's a Kentucky Fried Chicken on the plaza. And and I I you know I mean it's it's a really nice place. The people are kind of standoffish there. I think that the people in Mazatlan are much more friendly than Durango, but, but I guess you just, you just have to, uh, uh, once I started talking to them, uh, next week, I'm going to show you a clip of this cable car ride that goes, it goes all the way across the city, great views. And next week I'm going to show you some museums that I went into in Durango. We're going to go into the Pancho Villa Museum. We'll see portraits of Pancho Villa. And I'm learning a lot more about not only uh, Mesoamerican history, or some people would call it pre-Columbian history, but I'm 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 learning about post-Columbian history. Uh, what uh, that they down here that you have the day of independence, uh, and then you have uh, the Revolutionary War, which happened like 40 to 60 years later, learning about those things. And that's when Pancho Villa was around. He was in the he was one of the big four of the Revolutionary War. But anyway, I'll be showing those video clips probably next week. Here we go. Yep. And my neighborhood, it's brick houses and sidewalks and brick streets. If you ever go to Columbus, Ohio, German Village is a place to hit. What else is going on, Brian? Nice t-shirt weather. Yeah. Yeah, the weather's good down here. The weather's good. Um, Let's see. Let's see. What did I miss here? Ancient Aliens program has been showing the Olmec heads. Uh, it depends on who you talk to about the origination of those heads. And, and if you look at the heads, it's like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah I mean, um, and, and that's just one of the heads, uh, the, the, the heads really look kind of like Africans. Um, and, and some people say that there's a current that goes directly from Africa and it hits smack dab. I, I don't know how it actually works, but they say that Africans took canoes 
across the Atlantic, ended up in Mexico, and that's where many of these civilizations come from. But, it, of course, it depends on who you talk to. Uh, but, anyway, let's see what else is going on here. We have William Stoneman in the house. Buenos dias with the mustache man. Great to have you in the house uh, Senor Mexico, elevation 6,200 feet. Thank you very much for correcting me there. Uh, wow, beautiful old culture in Durango. It's, uh, it's, it's unbelievable. One of the museums that I went to in Durango, it's called the Mining Museum. It's weird. Uh, uh, I won't I won't be posting that video until the next week, but it's the mining video and they have all types of information about mining in Durango. And I think that's why they built a lot of those tunnels because they have so many minerals that they're shipping out of there. Of course, they had gold in the day, silver, lead, crystal. And uh, there's a museum all about mining, and they 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 show the minerals. They have gold bars, and and this uh, this museum is below the plaza, and uh, uh, it's it's quite lengthy, but it looks like a mine inside. Uh, chiseling tools. They talk about people that used to work in the mines. They show scorpions from the mine. Sometimes they'd be digging and, and they'd run into a nest of scorpions and they'd have to evacuate all the people. And some of the scorpions were like five inches long. Giant scorpions, the little ones and the big ones. It was kind of scary. I was scared. Uh, but uh, a lot of of uh history oh bj i've heard that story sure sure dan johnson it's a nice place yeah durango is very nice and and since you think it's nice let me show you some more videos here uh, let's see here we go da 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 oh oh here here you go <laughs> this, this is kind of funny oh, oh, oh okay let's see did I already do this? Yes, I already did that. Okay, so check this out. Okay, now I'm going to take that away, but here you have to look very carefully. As soon as I click this button and this video rolls, there's a red building to the left. There's a red building to the left, and it's a McDonald's. Okay, so I'm going to click the button. One two, three, here we go. There you go. The red button to the left. I'm going to click it again. And right to the right of the red, red building, you're going to see an OXO. OXO is everywhere. Here we go. There's, there's the McDonald's on the corner. There's the OXO. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 oh, and there's an adjoining plaza. And notice the people, most people have jackets on. Uh, until about 11 o'clock in the morning, it is chilly in Durango. Uh, they have all kinds of great cultural buildings in El Centro. Um, if I was, I did, uh, if, if I were you, it's worth a trip. Uh, but if you go, you really want to stay for like three or four days because just going to the museums and the park in Centro is uh, that that's uh, two or three days of stuff. Lots of food to eat, things to see, great music. And then there are things outside of Durango uh, like they have shows and waterfalls and Kelsey suggested that I go see some waterfalls, which I didn't do. And let's see, uh, before we get to more here, uh, we got uh, we got Jack Webb in the house. Hey there, Bill. 
Not feeling the best today. Hope everyone has a good week. Plus, I'm having to work and people are crawling out of the woodwork. Oh, Jack Webb, you take care, dude. You just take care of yourself. And we're all here thinking about you as you take care of the sick people, making them well and making the world a better place. And we appreciate we appreciate that, Jack Webb. Okay, so so now, so you saw McDonald's from the outside, but it's it's I thought that this was a really cool thing. I'm gonna show you this clip. Um here we go. We're gonna go into McDonald's, and I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but I did it. I confessed. Uh, I hadn't been to McDonald's in about 10 years, but I know what they have to eat. I mean, sure, I, I love a good taco, but uh, pretty much I lived on McDonald's, and I would just go in and get a cheeseburger. Actually, I would get four cheeseburgers. I would eat two of them on the square, take two back to the hotel room, because McDonald's cheeseburgers, uh, you don't even have to put them in the refrigerator. You can leave them in your pocket for six months and just pull that old cheeseburger. They have so many chemicals in them. But anyway, so I, I go into McDonald's and I had to take this video. We're in McDonald's. And that's a lot of people in McDonald's. But look at the structure. Look at that building. Uh this is McDonald's. You ever been in a McDonald's like that? Maybe in Italy or France or something like that. But, but, uh, and it was so clean. Uh, uh, it, it was like the McDonald's Museum. <laughs> but, but it was, it was very, very enjoyable. Uh, uh, Durango was great. And here is the street. I'm going to go back to the street in Durango. Uh, I'll pass on the six-month-old pocket cheeseburger. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. But but here we go. Here we go. Uh, this is the street I showed you a few minutes ago. This street, it, it's at least six or seven blocks long. And uh, it's and they have many streets like this in El Centro, in Durango. Is and, and and by this time, once eleven o'clock noon shows up in January, in January and December, I'm going to click that again. Uh, in January and December, the weather is just great. Once it hits eleven or 12 o'clock. Unlike New Jersey, uh, Dr. John's off in New Jersey. It's kind of chilly there. Uh, but by one o'clock, it's going to be 72 degrees here. It might be 31 in the morning in those months, but by one o'clock, it's going to be 70 degrees outside and, and you can really enjoy it. Uh, so I could, I could, I, I mean, I don't do too much. Uh, I rarely go to the beach. I'm, I got my drone batteries, uh, cranking up back here. I'll probably go to the beach this afternoon. There'll be a bunch of people there because of carnival and do some drone shots, but I don't get out that much. I make these videos. I make these videos. And so Durango, I could live in Durango. Uh, is I, I, you know, and save a lot of money, uh, with the money that I make, you know, I got my social security and, you know, make some YouTube money, some Amazon money. I mean, I mean, it would, it would pretty much triple my dollar power. Uh, that's what I would think. Moving to Durango would probably triple my dollar power. So with the money that I make now in Mazatlan, moving to Durango, ooh, I mean, it, it would just make a, a big difference. So anyway, let's, let, let's go back here and see what the people are saying. What, what do the people have to say here? Uh, Brenda, Brenda Douglas has things to say. 
Uh, the McDonald's in downtown Honolulu are quite different, Bill. Uh, a very, very island type of food offered. Plus, yeah, hamburgers. I, yeah, I, I do them. Uh, Senor Mexico, beautiful city and pedestrian street. I like Durango. Um, and VHT, I wish Mickey D's would come out with McTacos. <laughs> worldwide so I could get my fix here in Korea. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. McTaco, Zen Maiden. We haven't seen you in a while. Zen Maiden, what a beautiful couple. Hey, Bill and everyone stopping in from L.A. We got Los Angeles in the house. Zen Maiden, so happy to have you in the house. What a, don't they look like movie stars? It's so great to have movie stars in the house. Um, oh, and let me say this, Anya. Uh, oh, me and that girl, we go to uh, we, we go to the grocery store together every Tuesday. So this week was our Tuesday. Uh, so I won't see her for a couple of more weeks, but that's that's how we get together. Uh, I've been communicating with Anya, who just, uh, she's moving down here. I think she'll be here in about a month. She's selling all the stuff in her house. She's having a garage sale today. So she says, oh, I won't be there tomorrow because I'm doing a garage sale. So I wish her the best of luck. Oh, and also, um, Stephen, I, I, I think it's Stephen Nathan and his son, Mike, uh, they invited me to lunch this week. I, I think that was Wednesday. So I got together with them. We went to a nice little restaurant on the beach. We had some great seafood, uh, very affordable and away from El Centro. So, uh, uh, it, it, uh, well, that, that just adds more to it, but, but we're sitting right on the beach looking at the ocean and uh, Stephen's son, Mike, is 39 years old. He works online. Stephen is 71. But he brought Stephen to Mazatlan just to show him uh, what, what life is like down here. They're both Canadians. Uh, and, and where his son, Mike, lives, it's snowing. They have snow on the ground. It's cold up there. So Stephen's trying to tell his son, Mike, hey, look, you can live in Mexico and you can li really live very well. And and he just wanted his son to talk to me and say, say, hey, you can move down here. You're working online anyway. Move to Mexico, start a new life. And Mike, Mike was a good looking guy from Canada, you know, he got long hair, but pulled back in the bun kind of thing going on. He's like six foot one, six foot two. And, <laughs> and for all you white guys out there, uh, the Mexican women love white guys. So if you're, if you're halfway handsome, you come down here, you can meet some Mexican women. You got to weed them out. Uh, but, uh, but he got a date. He was only, they were only here for three days. Mike got a date. He was so happy but it is so nice to meet my subscribers. We get together, we have meals, and it's great. And Miriam, I, Miriam said, hey, click the like button. Yahoo. Yes, thank you. Do that. Uh, but when you're away from home, I trust McDonald's McChicken will not make me sick. Yes. I tell you what, you know, I eat what I trust. And from Korea, McChicken sandwiches are a lot different in China and Korea than they are in Canada. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Um, still good, but way different breading in all three countries. Okay, we're picking up a world perspective on McDonald's critiques. Okay. Okay. So I'm in the mall. No, I'm, I'm, I'm on the plaza. Oh, okay. Uh, and, uh, I showed you guys this clip. I'm on the plaza. I actually spent a lot of time 
on this plaza in Durango. Just I was just out there watching the people. Um, they have so many young students there, people going to med school, people going to nursing school. Uh, and uh, it, it was it was a real different environment than what I'm experiencing here in Mazatlan. So I'm sitting there probably eating a cheeseburger. And then all of a sudden this happens. Here you go. Yeah, I'm eating my cheeseburger. Here comes this guy walking right through the middle of the plaza. Right through, and I'm thinking, what's up with that? There's the cathedral. Next week, I'll show you the interior of the cathedral. But uh, uh, I tell you what, in Mexico, you never know what you're going to see in Mexico. Going from one minute to the next, you never, animals, what people are doing, what people are wearing. I saw some freaky women in the, uh, Durango. I mean, I, I, I mean, uh, freaky, I like freaky, the freak of the week kind of stuff. But anyway, so the guy, he comes down with the horde. He, he, he's walking through the plaza. I'm trying to figure out what is up with that. And then after this guy walks through, then I see something else. I see this. Here comes this guy. You got to check out this whole video clip. This is an this is advertising for something. Look, the guy's got a speaker on on his back. The guy pulling the horse is dressed up like Poncho. Now check out this guy. Check out this guy. Uh, those guys, they came down on those scooters. I'm going to play the clip again. But check out the horse. But then you're going to see a guy come through here, and he's got two scooters because the guys apparently came here on scooters. So his backup man, here comes his backup man, driving the two scooters following the horse. <coughs> I tell you what, you live in Mexico, you never know what you are going to see. And people are brilliant all over the world. I mean, you got your Native Americans, you got your uh, you, you got your Africans, you got your Chinese or Asian people, you got your Caucasians. Uh, let's see, who did I leave out? Uh, let's see, I think I got everybody. You got your... Uh, your Latinos, you got every everybody's brilliant, but uh, uh, and uh, you know I apologize for confine for uh, confining uh, what I share with you to Mexico, but there's so much there's so much to find out and to learn in Mexico. I'm just gonna stay here. I'm just gonna stay here and. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to stay here and explore Mexico. That's what I do. Autumn Green, Bill, how is the Wi-Fi in Mazatlan? Is the Wi-Fi stronger in areas? Uh, Autumn Green, um, uh, I'm having, okay, okay, let's say this. I've been in this apartment for eight months. Uh, Wi-Fi comes with my rent. So I pay rent, rent, I have Wi-Fi. I was running at 30 meg. And and you guys may remember that I had some problems. Uh, I had some audio problems. My video was glitchy at 30 meg. So uh, my landlord, her name is Gabby. She actually lives in Durango. Wonderful lady. I think she must be very wealthy. Uh, she's totally bilingual. I only communicate with her in English. She's a Mexican. And uh, so I had an internet problem, and I, I told her I need faster speed. I, I need 100 meg. And uh, we had a problem getting the guy out here. So next thing I knew, she had hooked up with the internet people, and she found a technician. I, I have mega cable, mega cable, mega cable, 
in English. And uh, so now she has this guy's home phone number and his home cell phone number. So if I have any problems, she just calls this guy direct and he comes right over in about a half an hour. But the only internet I've had is here. I do quite fine with 100 meg. Uh, I think you guys will agree. I can move my head. Looks, you know, like it's really happening. My audio is good. Everything is good here. Down when I was staying at Reina Del Mar bed and breakfast. Right in El Centro, they have 10 rooms down there. Uh, internet was fantastic. So down here on internet, you have Telmex, which is the, that's like Mall Bell for you older folks like uh, Dr. John. Uh, uh, but uh, but uh, Telmex is the central phone service. You, you can get really good internet through them, I think, for up to like 100 meg, 500 meg, I mean. You can get Telcel. They have really fast speeds, 200 meg and up. Uh, and I want to talk about another up and total play. They have, they don't have total play in my neighborhood, but total play. My cousin has total play in Ahihik. Uh, Chris and Mark have total play in Ahihik. And, uh, uh, but internet is good here. Uh, you can get Good internet pretty much all over town. I'm very happy. I'm so happy that that my computer stuff is working. My computers are fast. I got high-speed internet. Uh, you guys that have been with me since I've been in Mazatlan, you saw me with technical difficulties. Uh, right now, knock on glass. All of my stuff is good. So internet is good down here. And I want to thank Crapo, Crapo, Dr. John for donating to the channel. That's how we pay our rent down here. People donate to the channel. And Dr. John, I appreciate you showing up and being here. Uh, let's see what's going on now. Uh, I, I, I missed some stuff only in Mexico. I got some more stuff for you, Brian made. You want to see only in Mexico. You guys, I don't believe it. It is 43 minutes after the hour. I'm not even through all of my clips yet. And as you know, this is the end of my week here, Saturday mornings before I get to relax and just to go out and enjoy the beach in Mexico, 1,700 GM. There have been 71 mass shootings in the U.S. in just week six. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to a Canadian about that yesterday on the roof. You know, people talk about, you know, is Mexico safe? What? I mean, it's just, uh, I, I don't even want to talk about uh, what's going on in the U.S., but that's a lot of mass shootings. Come down to Mexico, what? It was uh, Michigan State University, three people killed. You have five people in the hospital on, in critical condition. Uh, I mean, it's just, I mean, uh, it, it can be anywhere. It can be anybody in the United States. And I haven't heard of any mass shootings. Yeah, you, you have some narco stuff. But if you're not a narco and you're not dealing drugs, narcos don't mess with you if you're not selling drugs, you know, unless unless you show up by accident somewhere where there, where there are often some people that are selling drugs. But down here, I haven't heard of anybody getting killed in Walmart. I haven't, I haven't heard of anybody getting off because they're in church reading the Bible. Uh, I... I haven't heard of anybody down here getting offed uh, randomly uh, that, you know, I mean, that Mexico is safe. And I've been talking about this with a lot of people, but I think um, I think that it's good uh, because uh, Canada 
put out a travel alert this week about Mexico is not safe to visit. And I think the United States put out one, you know, and they put out and they put, in fact, where I live, Sinaloa, Sinaloa is one of the states they say is unsafe. Uh, oh, and Durango, uh, Durango is actually in a county, I'm going to say, called Durango. But is kind of Sinaloa, and that's that's another place they, that that these uh, uh places say are not safe. But I tell you what, man, I feel so safe here. Uh, I feel safe. In fact, in fact, let me. I made this special button. I made a special button just about the safety factor. All is good in. Mexico. Oh, I'm going to leave that up just a minute here. And I want to thank Thomas with the green Afro and the uh, nice makeup job. You got beautiful eyes, Thomas. Uh, uh, but anyway, thank you for donating to the channel. And uh, I, I appreciate, appreciate the donations very much. And I love the do I love the donations. Sure, I do. Uh, but you know, I just I just do this. It's in my blood. Making these videos is in my blood. I'll be doing this until I die because I don't have anything else to do. I run into so many retired people down here, and they seem to be so lost. Uh, it's it's like uh, and and God bless them. God bless these people that that seem to be very lost. I mean, they've worked all their lives. My my apartment co complex surprisingly is probably 85% of people over 65 from Canada. And they've retired and they hang out and enjoy each other's company. Uh but now uh I, I can't I can't imagine living without a purpose. Uh, and and like my cousin lives in Ahihik and 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 she has these ladies that want to get together with her and share their time with her, but she's doing art all day. She's like a Michelangelo. She's if she doesn't have a, a paintbrush in her hand, uh, she's going crazy. I mean, she's a professional artist. She and she's got. She just has art coming out of her when she breathes. She's breathing art. Uh, but I can't imagine uh, not having a, a purpose. So, so my purpose in life is to make these videos, and I'm going back to donations here. Uh, so I appreciate the donations. Uh, so that's all I have to say. And for those, for those of you that are watching the rebroadcast, um, and if you would like to support the channel, you can go to uh, buildgeek.org. Buildgeek.org. Click on FAQs. There's a big donate button there, and you can support the channel via PayPal, Visa, Mastercard, or American Express, of course. Okay, we got more stuff going on, more stuff going on. Brenda Douglas, generally speaking, Bill, it takes a lot of ingredients to make a good salad. <laughs> Different types of people. Oh, that's good. I, I, I say that same thing about quiche. I say that same thing about quiche. What, what, I, I'm a good quiche maker. And what I miss about uh, uh, the United States, one of the things that I miss, uh, other than White Castle cheeseburgers with jalapeno, jalapeno cheese, is at the grocery stores you can't get pie shells, frozen pie shells. I've never seen frozen pie shells because that's how I make my quiche. If you know, if I, I guess I could make my own pie shell, but uh, it's much easier. But a good piece of quiche is when you bite the quiche, you get a little bit of cheese, a little bit of broccoli, a little 
a little bit of bacon and you mix all of that together. And I, I agree with uh, uh, BJ, Brenda Douglas about, yeah, a mixture of people. I don't want to see all, oh, 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 oh. Oh, I, 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 I'm holding back on some things that I want to say, but uh, uh, I, I don't want to be all around the same kind of people. I, I don't want to live where everybody looks alike, where everybody is the same age. I don't want to live like that. I like different stuff in my t-shirt, in my salad BJ, thank you for that comment. Thanks, everybody, for showing up. I'm a, I'm a B. I'm a B. Hmm. Does the quality vary with time of day and week? I think you're talking about internet speed. No, it's good all the time. I get on the internet. I have very, I, I think if, if that's not what you're talking about, let me know. But uh, it, it's good all of the time. We have a lot. We I got a lot of comments to click on here. I'm a B in Kuru. We had water issues and had to do a service. How about Matsitlan? My water, my water here in Matsitlan is the bomb. Uh, uh, in, in Guadalajara. In Guadalajara, when I was there four years, we had weak water coming out. Uh, in Puerto Vallarta, water pressure was was low, even though the house had been totally rebuilt. I'm on the fourth floor. There must be two or three hundred units where I am, and the water has good feed coming out. I mean, it, it gets you. The water is hot. It's steady, and it doesn't matter what, what time of day it is in this building. And what I spent two weeks at Rainy Del Mar bed and breakfast in El Centro, and that's with Rob and Sherry, uh, their bed and breakfast. They do tours from Ahihik to Matsalan for one week. They do them twice a month, I believe. Uh, but they have great water. The water was hot, so... Matsitlan has where I've been, and that's only two places, has been reliable. What's Nana 21 talking about? That's the first thing people say when I tell them I'm moving to Matsitlan. Is it safe there? I say, is it safe here? Yeah, man. I mean, come on. Uh, my car, my car has been broken into two times. My car, and when I used to write and illustrate children's books, I was traveling all over the country. I, I had a Jeep Cherokee Limited, and I put 250,000 miles on that car. I And that's because I was going into elementary school showing kids how to write books and how to do computer graphics, how to build websites. I mean, I was on the road all the time from Los Angeles to Connecticut, uh, to Texas, North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, Nebraska. I was in my Jeep Cherokee with my computer equipment and sometimes with my yellow lab, Hollywood. And I stayed in some very questionable places. And the only place uh, my car was broken into twice, <laughs> Twice within a six-month period, the only place my car was broken into was in Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I lived, I've lived down here. Well, I've been in Mexico. I've only had a car 13 years. My car has never been broken into, knock on glass. But yeah, it's, it's safe down here. It's, uh, I love it. Uh-oh, let's see what's going on now. I'm going to be is Mexico accepting Russian dissidents and asylum seekers. I'm a B. I'm not sure about that. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't read about that, but I'm a B. I want to thank you for your contribution. Thanks for uh, keeping the channel afloat. Uh, thanks uh, 
so that now uh, I tell you guys what, me and that girl, we went to Walmart to do our shopping this week. And your donations from last week helped me get groceries. And what what do I buy for groceries? Well, I get uh, I get frozen pizza and avocados. Uh, yes, that's pretty much uh, frozen pizza and avocados. That's pretty much what makes Bill the Geek's world go round. We have 43 people in the house, 33 likes, and we got contribution dollars rolling in like crazy. And uh, it is 56 minutes after the hour. I still have some video clips to show. In Brian Maiden, look at the pretty boy, Brian Maiden, smiling there, looking all good. I get emails, Brian Maiden, from women that watch my videos from all over the world. They want your phone number. They want to know. They they, they email me, Brian Maiden. They email me. They say, is he single? Can Can I get with him? You think he would get with, I say, I don't know, man. I don't mess with no romance on the Bill Dallas Lewis channel. So I'm sorry, Brian. In Winnipeg, Canada, the bus drivers every day being hurt by pepper spray, being attacked by knife. And this is almost every day. I mean, yeah, it's crazy. What's going on with people? What's up with the people? Uh, you know, uh, then they hear John Lennon's song, Imagine. I would sing more, but all that stuff is copyright protected. That's okay. That's all right. Um, the Terry Don Marshall, Ola Stranger. Looking forward to our interview real soon. Just let me know when you are ready, Terry Don. And Terry Don is working on a podcast. Uh, sounds like it's very interesting. Uh, we've been talking about this for about six months now. Should be coming out soon. Brian Maiden, give it, uh, give it to them all. Give them your email. Sure, sure. Let's let's. Uh, I I gotta click a couple of things here. Let's turn that one off, and also. If you would like to be a guest on Saturday mornings, email me. You can find my email at buildthegeek.org. Click on the FAQ button, and uh, you'll find my email address. If you would like to contribute on a Saturday morning, we would love to have you share uh, your ideas about moving to Mexico, to share your hesitations about uh, moving to Mexico. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, so drop me a line, be a guest on Saturday, or if you're really interesting, I'll do a separate video on you all together. And Brian Maiden, I, uh, 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 Brian Maiden says, I'm 68 and single. For all you women out there looking for a good man, look at that pretty man, Brian, 68 and single and ready, ready to roll, ready to roll, Brian. Oh, okay. I, I still have a couple of more video clips left. Um, sometimes, uh, <laughs> oh, this is funny. Oh, everybody wants, everybody wants to get with the program now look at pretty boy over here I, thomas thomas is single too okay we got them all lining up now uh maybe i ought to maybe i ought to change uh maybe I, I, I maybe i ought to make my channel a dating channel i could do that uh-huh we got all of these studly men and women uh, we got people from Korea. Uh, uh, you know, uh, we, we can make it a, a dating food channel. Uh, okay. NVHT, Brian, make sure you watch Bill's uh, dating advice video uh, before you commit to anyone. His tips are genius. And NVHT, 
I'm I'm getting ready to make another dating video. But this one, I've got a list. I've got a list on your basics. I got a list on your super basic stuff. And then I have a, a financial list. And I, I'm I'm trying to figure out what my my video for Sunday. My video for Sunday, it's all up and ready. It's only a seven-minute video doing apartment price comparisons between Mazatlan and the rest of the world. Uh, but I'm debating what my Tuesday video is going to be. If I put up one on Durango, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get any traffic on that. I want to put it up, but if I'm only going to get like 50 visits, that's, that's not going to help me out. Uh, uh, but... Uh, you know, so, but I, I could put up the dating. I got some new tips. I've been single out there almost all, about a year, and a, a year and a month now, and I'm not looking. I'm just sitting at home twiddling my thumbs. I'm not looking, but I've refined my list. I've refined my list, and I want to thank Anna Titan. Woo-hoo! Look at her. Anna Titan for donating to the channel. Uh, Anna Titan, uh, she she uh, Anna Titan emails me uh, very frequently. She has uh, she has uh, she has had some issues with Social Security that I think she could have a television show uh, with with what has been going on with her Social Security situation and Brian Maiden. Thank you, pretty boy, for contributing to the channel. And uh, what? And for that, Brian Maiden, the next time one of these women contact me, I get about I get about fifty people asking about Brian Maiden every. They just email me. They call Brian Maiden. Brian, Maiden, who is that man? But but since you contributed, yeah. And if you contribute, if you contribute money to the channel. I'll put, I'll, I'll, you know, send me some photos. We'll do a half an hour just about you every week. We, you send me enough money, I'll do an hour about you. Okay, what's Anna Titan talking about? Now, Anna Titan, she's saying, you look pretty sunny today, Bill Dallas. We need dating games and strategies. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, mucho uh, uh, amo en México esta fría. Esta Fria in Reno, the home of James and Rena. Yes. Oh, well, thank you for that, Anna Titan. Nemo is funny. It, we've been at it for one hour and three minutes. I still have some video clips to share with you. Um, let's see now. Oh, uh, and... We're getting more people. Maybe maybe I ought to start later. We got forty five people in the house. Thirty six likes uh, before we move forward. Uh, I have I have many videos that I want to do. I I I, I want I, I uh, tomorrow's video is going to be price comparisons of apartments between the total United States and Mazatlan. But I, I want to do price comparisons for apartments in like Columbus, Ohio and Mazatlan. And then I want to do price comparisons about like uh, Ahihik and Mazatlan. Price, price comparisons between Mazatlan and Puerto Vallarta. There, there are, you know, and these would just be very short videos. People are always, oh, uh, okay, price comparisons between Durango and Ahihik. I think if people really knew how safe and beautiful Durango is, and the more I, I I'm, I'm going to dig down on the pricing of homes and apartments in Durango, Durango, and I'm, I have some more clips. I have some more clips of Durango. But uh, they have 1.6 million people there. They had uh, – when you see a city in Mexico that has McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Pizza Hut, 
Uh, that means that the that the city is bustling. Uh, they had Sears, Woolworths. Believe not, they still have Woolworths down here in Me- Mexico. They still have Sears in Mexico. Um, uh, uh, Durango had it all. But anyway, I'm babbling away. Why? And and some people may be saying, "Well, Bill, why are you babbling so much?" That's my job. <laughs> That's what this is what I do. Babble. I got to sit around and think about how I'm going to babble all week. Okay, may toy me. Oh, good morning from Los Angeles. Always happy to see you in the house. And a Titan is just perking up. Wow, Bill, that that a tough Bill, that a tough show. Okay. Uh, let's go back over here. 1700 GM Matsalon was very popular during the glamours, glamours 50s and 60s with Hollywood stars. That's very true. Let me go back here and get a couple more video clips here. Um, now, uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I have, I only have three more clips today, folks. Um, we're going to go into this church. I believe that this church, and and I, from memory, I think it's called the Durango Cathedral. But here we go. Let's go inside. Let's take a look inside. Look at this thing. It's huge. This cathedral is about as big as the cathedral, the very famous cathedral in the plaza in Guadalajara. I mean, this thing is giant. Look at that thing. Uh, The artwork, the statues, and I believe that this thing was built, or or the original version, I believe that that thing was initiated back in like 1562, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, Of course, I've always got so many numbers going through my brain. It's hard to keep all my facts straight, but I try. But but check this out. Okay, there you go. There's one of the main altars. They were having a funeral in there. I had to leave and come back before the funeral was over. I've got a shot of the hearse, which was kind of interesting. But check out these ceilings. Check out these ceilings. I mean... The Spanish, look at that. Look at that. This that's like five hundred, four or five hundred years old. I mean, look at that. It's 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 amazing. The the Spanish uh they built some they put up some mean cathedrals. Uh let's see, I only have one more clip. And we're getting close. Uh, we're getting close to shutting her down. Anna Titans talking the real the realty comparisons of US and Mexico is a tough show. Oh, uh, it is what I mean. Uh, yes, uh, is a is is what I meant to write. Yeah, that's a that's yeah, but I think I can pull it off, and I will pull it off. Okay, now. We are down to my last clip. Oh, I had fun making this clip. I had fun making this clip. I, I hate to click the button to show you this clip. Um, <clears throat> but <clears throat> I had fun with this. So I, I'm just going to click the button and let her roll. There you go. Uh, so this is about 11 o'clock. And this clip lasts about one minute. I sped it up. Uh, But as you can see, the plaza is a very active place. And I love to see the clouds flowing through the sky in the background. And look how clean it is. The whole town, uh, almost, I'm going to say 99% of Mexico is super clean. Uh, but, but you don't you don't see one piece of litter on that 
huge plaza. Do you see any litter anywhere? There's no litter. Nothing. But and, and, and you see it's busy, but the plaza is beautiful. It's surrounded by restaurants and museums. This is Durango. This, this is Durango. These are the kinds of places I share with you on the Bill Dallas Lewis channel because there's so much, there are so many beautiful spots in Mexico to live and enjoy life safely. Uh, and let me say that again. There are so many places to live and enjoy life in Mexico safely. And uh, let me add that all is good in Mexico. All is good in Mexico. And I want to thank Kim Jade. Look at her fine self. Uh, look, look at how fine she is. Kim J. Yeah, girl. Yeah. For $4.99. I give you a half an hour on the show. Hey, yeah. $4.99. Thank you so much for all of you. Thank you guys just for showing up. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh Oh, let's see. Uh, what are you talking about? 1700, 1700 GM. How is the no smoking ban in Mexico working? Uh, oh, now that's a whole different story. Um, people are smoking. Uh, 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 you go in OXO, they're not allowed to show cigarettes behind the counter. So uh, they've got them all covered up. Uh, you go into restaurants, there, there's not supposed to be any smoking in there. People are smoking in the restaurants. It's 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 all about enforcement. Supposedly, you get like a five hundred dollar U.S. fine, uh, like you like in in a place like the Plaza. You shouldn't be smoking on the Plaza, uh, but I haven't seen it being very heavily in forced. Brian Maiden, thank you for showing up, Brian Maiden. Uh, thank you for contributing to the channel. Thanks for everybody showing up. Uh, next week, uh, video will go up with price comparisons, and I'm going to be doing more of those. Uh, I'm not sure what my Tuesday video will be. I still, next week, I'm going to show some video clips of inside the museums. Uh, I may make it down to El Central for Carnival. I kind of doubt it because I really don't want to go. Um, and uh, that's what's happening. So for the next two weeks, I'm going to be here in the crib, uh, making in the crib videos. And then, uh, and then... I'm, I'm hitting the road again. I'm going to small beach towns north of where I live. Okay, you guys. So I want to thank Brenda Douglas. Well, thank you. Enjoy your wonderful life in paradise. And you guys, too. I love you all. Thank you guys for showing up again. I hope you had some fun this week. Uh, oh, I hope you had some fun. With me today, I'm trying to share some love, share some joy down here. Uh, there's no reason to be cold. Uh, when uh, when I went out to lunch with Steve and his son, Mike, they were talking about ice fishing in Canada. I've seen it on uh, what what the, the, the ABC Wide World of Sports. They used to show that when I was a little kid, uh, uh, ice fishing in Canada. But they were talking about it, and 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 he was telling his 39-year-old son, who would go ice fishing when you could be down here on the beach in Mazatlan, working online, making $65 an hour? Uh, you know, I mean, ice fishing, really? Uh, sitting in, they have little tents, little tents, uh, and they have heaters in them, and you 
poke a hole in ice and fish, sit out there for hours drinking beer. Okay, whatever. Okay, so anyway, but thanks you guys for showing up. I will be, I'm getting ready to sign off now. Uh, but before I sign off, I got to, I got to do my thing. I got to click my button over here, make my banner roll. I love you. Uh, Dr. John, thank you for showing up. Thank you for contributing to the channel. I'm Bill the Geek, broadcasting live from Mazatlan, Mexico. Love you all. And uh, we will see you uh, next Saturday. Adios, amigos. Bye. Hasta luego, that girl Thomas. Bye. Bye, everybody.